Good afternoon, ma'am. Very good afternoon. What a lovely voice. But where are you? I cannot see you. Am I audible? But you are audible, but you're not visible. <coughs> not even. Yeah, now you're visible. Hello, how are you? I am good. Thanks for asking. And what about you, ma'am? I'm doing great. I'm perfectly fine. Are you all ready for the session? Yes. Okay, so let's start with the introduction. Would you like to take this or not? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, a good afternoon and thank you for giving me this lovely opportunity to take this call with you. So this is Tuhina. I am 12 years old. I study in DAV Public School in 7th Standard that is situated in Sahi Baba, UP. I am the single child of my parents. My mother is a homemaker and my father works in a private company real estate. I belong to West Bengal, but I, gr I am growing up here in UP. My parents are also brought up here in Delhi and Uttar Pradesh, but they are belonging to West, ba West Bengal. Apart from my studies, my core of interest is dancing and painting. For that, I have been learning Kathak, which is a classical form of this dance for last five years. And also, I am able to speak three languages, that is English, Hindi and Bengali. That's all. Oh my God, such a lovely introduction. You include everything. I don't need to ask you anything after that. Okay, so you are also Bengali. Yes. That's great. So we had a very good, we have a very good topic to talk about today. That is Saraswati Puja. It was only yesterday. So how yes. did you celebrate this? I, I celebrated Saraswati Puja not at my house. Uh, I celebrated uh, in my community, in my Bengali community, uh, near to my home. So I celebrated it uh, with a great pomp and show. I celebrated it with my friends. I worshipped a lot. I, I said to uh, Saraswati, uh, Saraswati ji that uh, give me all the knowledge that you have because I want to gain very good marks in my annual exams. And my annual exams are started. Today it was my uh, French and computer exam. So I uh, just gave that and uh, 17th of Feb it would be my English exam. Uh, that means Saturday. So I said to her that give me your all knowledge that you uh, that you are having so that I could score good marks in my annual exam. Yeah. I said a lot of things uh, that keep me good. Um, don't give us more knowledge as you wish. And I would I would like to gain that knowledge. So I said all these things and there I enjoyed a lovely uh, lunch. So in that lunch okay. that in did um, khichdi uh, with I think so cabbage curry and with uh, kheer. I enjoyed a lot there and I played with my friends, all friends there and then I came back to my home. Oh, that's great. It's such an amazing explanation you have given. And uh, yeah, it was uh, Saraswati Puja, but uh, you know, usually I also celebrate Saraswati Puja. I used to go to pandals and you know, wearing yellow dress and uh, I do everything which you do because I'm also a Bengali and uh, but the reason was that yesterday I was not able to do it because of my kids so I was missing that uh, uh, that puja pandal and everything so somehow this year I was not able to celebrate this but I'm sure with in next year I'm surely going to celebrate this okay so you are one thing I would really uh, want to ask you that how do you manage with studies and the videos oh my god you are such a talented girl how do you manage tell me i uh, i usually get up uh, very late in the morning i am very lazy if you say about me very lazy i i usually do such type of things that that doesn't give me so much time but yes i am particular about this conversational videos i uh, when i come back from my school now i have come i have come back from my school at uh, you can say about three o'clock i come back and then i did my lunch after now i'm talking to you so i give my english conversation videos one to two hours 
uh, as my mother manages all my studies i narrate question answers to her so i do conversational to uh, conversation talks to one to two hours in my leisure time and then i uh, narrate question answers to my mother because she gives her 40% and i gives my 60% so that is equal to 100% so after that i study um, study uh, and then i take some snacks with a hot coffee and after that i i do some revising work i do my homework that is given from my school and after that i take my dinner and then i go to sleep i go to my bed that's great amazing so how is your study is going on is it like fine yeah if i do you also take... mm -hmm. yes continue no you tell me <laughs> yeah if i tell these my studies are going good but i want to more concentrate uh, on my studies as uh, i'm not good at uh, means max but yes i want to be good at max and my studies are going good that's great that's great okay how did you improve your english uh, it is only because you are in the private school or is there any other reason of like you are speaking so much very nicely you are so expressive also yeah so how did you learn um we honest so i start my english journey with my mother not from private school because when i was in private uh, when, when i was uh, admitted in the school so my mother and father was very happy to know about that i am studying in english medium school because they didn't get any opportunity in their time so my mother and father were very happy about knowing this that the school is all facilities giving there are so many lawns uh there are so many garden uh, my ch my child can enjoy a lot uh, as i'm a single child so uh, they were very happy so when i was growing up i was nearly uh, age like 8 years when i was in class second so my mother was disappointed to see me that i am not speaking english one word so my father said that be calm and cool she will speak english now she is a kid don't force her to speak in english from this age she is very little girl so after that when i was in class 3 so my mother can't stop herself to see this so my mother started as so i started to buy english oxford uh, grammar books from amazon from mintra so at that time wifi was not there but phone was available so my mother used to uh, buy these type of books and whole the year in third class mean in 2019 she studied herself she made her teach every and each concept very clearly and then after that when i was in class 4 that as that means i was in 2020 so my mother taught me a lot in grammar rules that uh, this is tenses so i will teach you today present perfect present continuous and present indefinite tense you will have to understand each and everything and at night i would give you some uh, grammar exercises from these three topics only so my use uh, my that time i used to study a lot also in english also i used to spend a time spend quality time in english lot with my mother as my studies were not higher but now i can't spend because of too much of studies mm -hmm. as you can see so my mother used to make question papers and usually if i tell you that i used to score very good marks when my mother used to give me test papers i used to solve them and then uh, i i used to uh, learn uh, five vocabulary words from my english literature book i used to learn that and my mother used to say that you have to make five sentences on each five words each and five. Uh, i used to i have uh, usually completed three notebooks of english grammar so i started and i was also bored that uh, that how uh, now, now i am very bored in writing everything i want to do something orally so when i was in class 6 my mother said that let's uh, let's start with another se session means when you were in class 7th so um, we will start some english conversational uh, okay. speaking so that time in july 2023 I started my first uh, conversational video with Jyoti ma'am. So I started from that July 2023, and recently I have been. I am speaking to you. 
oh my god but you are speaking so well so is there any environment like your mother used to talk to you in english language or it is in bengali or like hindi uh, my mother even now also i when i get up early in the uh, i get up at what time i don't know so my mother usually say uh, usually says that you uh, when you are waking up you have to start your english uh, you have to start your daily routine with english speaking skills not hindi or not bengali mm-hmm. because you are full surrounded by hindi speakers you are full surrounded by bengali speakers at home when you call to your uh, relatives you are speaking in bengali uh, when you are going to play and school the teachers and the children are speaking to you in hindi so there are full hindi and bengali medium school students but Uh, no one is trying to uh, analyze that uh, if we are speaking in english so you have to speak in english only you don't have to speak in hindi and bengali because my father uh, is uh, uh, studied from bengali medium school so he is full uh, he speaks full bengali he does not encourage english and hindi at home but my uh, but when my mother told him that no you should have to you will have to talk to my child in english because now i have gave, i have uh, given her the wings to fly in that atmosphere i have uh, given her whole my courage my hard work my precious time to her you have to speak in english with her whole day so my father also used to follow those rules and even now he is following uh, so i speak in english with my mother and father that's great so when you were in sixth grade or like i think seventh grade seventh grade from then you started speaking english um i started my conversational videos from seventh class but i was learning uh, from fifth standard because that time fourth standard i was learning everything but from fifth my journey yeah that's what my question is like from which age you started speaking because uh, now like it's been like 4 years if i complete calculate from fifth class you are in yes. seventh or ninth i forgot seventh <laughs> you are in seventh okay so more like 2 to 3 years already passed great yes. great great okay so what would you like to do other than this english sessions and your study what is the thing you'd like to do most I uh, as I told it, my core of interest is dancing and uh, painting. Uh, I have been learning dance for five years when I was in class second, but I want to I want to uh, learn painting also. I am not good at painting, but I love painting as they are containing so much uh, paints. I uh, whenever I draw anything, I just usually paint. And if you see my home at once, uh, the walls, the floors are whole colored with paint. so i love to paint a lot that's really great okay i will tell you one incident uh, i also have a kid he is 5 years old he is my son and what he he also like to draw he love drawing he loves drawing so what he do we have given him our doors room doors we have one two three doors in the ground floor and he and we have also offered him chalk do you know chalk uh, yes. we used to write like this so now what he is doing whole day he is occupied with drawing he used to draw on the doors in now yeah it, this is still in his habit that he used to like whole day he is busy with the chalk and the door and he used to write and not used to he writes everything like whatever he studied in his school like sometimes uh, counting sometimes abc sometimes words whatever comes in his mind he write on the door and our all doors like full messy whenever in any case if you visit our house then you will see that like the whole uh, house especially the doors have written something and something on them so he also liked this activity and this is how you know he is practicing also whatever he had learned in his school he repeat the same things on writing uh, the same on the door so it's it gives him a good practice also so i don't need to spend some time with him he is learning himself so it's a great way drawing is you know something which every kid like i think so yeah this, it's really nice do you have any question for me because uh, like this video will be only for 20 minutes because i have to go downstairs to check my baby yeah i um, i have a related question 
that is uh, like uh, my mother wrote uh, yesterday that to discuss about that what was your childhood and dreams and what is now my childhood and dreams okay but now like we are running out of time so we cannot discuss that because that is something we need to discuss in detail because childhood is something that we cannot stop if i will start talking about my childhood i, I may not end up within 5 minutes so yes uh, what is your name to hina how to pronounce it no it is to hina to hina yes to hina what is your full name um to hina das to hina das okay that's great so whenever like in future i would like to have a more conversation with you because i really like your spirit and i really want you to speak with my son because he is only 5 years old very naughty but he is somehow able to communicate in english uh, because he has uh, he has been learning this language from like 3 uh, years old when he was 3 so it's been 2 years now he can speak so i want you to make conversation with him i want to check like how he respond i i don't know <laughs> because usually he talk to me but i have never seen him talking to third person so i would like you to give me appropriate time maybe on the weekends sunday sunday is the yeah sunday will be good so I will i would uh, i would now my exams are going on so i would my exams are ending at 6 march so after that i would be able to do any session but now recently no issue no issues that's great you should focus on your studies now we'll communicate in march maybe i will also have more sessions with you because i am running out of time today so i'm not able to talk to you like for a long period of time and i would like to say that you're such a lovely child seriously you're an amazing girl so proud of you thank you ma'am okay so just enjoy and i'll go and thank you so much for joining me and your voice is so lovely yes okay uh, okay no one said this but but i don't think my lo- my voice is lovely at at when i was in childhood and my voice was lovely at that time i don't no, think no 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 you you sounds really great the moment you uh, started the session i was only able to hear your voice i was not able to see you that time and it was such a like i feel that somebody is speaking very sweetly i love the way you speak yeah and that's it bye bye have a nice day have a nice day ma'am take care bye 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 ma'am